Good morning, Zoom students. Welcome to Mr. Dela Cruz's art class. Today we're going to practice parabolic curves. And this is our almost our end goal. This is about three quarters of the way done. This section right here was left blank intentionally. Um, and I used it at one point to do specific measurements. But for our purposes right now, you guys can create a parabolic curve on whatever size paper that you have available at home. Now the tools that you're going to need are paper, pencil, possibly a ruler if you have one, okay, if you have one laying around. And if you do not, you can use a, another piece of paper, all right? So two ways to do this. Find your midpoint of your paper. You can either do so by measuring, right? This is an eight and a half by, eight and a half by 11, okay, which is a standard typing paper. Or you can simply fold a second piece of paper the same size in half and find your midpoints that way as well as utilize the second paper as your uh, ruler to keep a straight edge. Okay, so you can fold it this way as well and create that plus in the middle of your paper. And what you're gonna do is this, is you are going to divide each section, okay? with the same amount of spacings or the same amount of measurement. So we could go half inch, half inch, half inch, or full inch, right? In this particular case, let's just go full inch, right? We'll go one inch, one inch, one inch, one inch, one inch. And we're simply gonna rotate the paper. And we're gonna go and draw little marks every inch. We're then going to go this way. We're going to do the same. One inch, one inch, whoops. One inch, one inch. We're going to rotate the paper. We're going to go one inch, one inch, one inch, one inch. Now, this one is a quite easy, okay? So I'm just going to go slow and I want you to just pay attention. So we're going to line up the inside most line on the horizontal line, right? This is the horizontal line, okay? In math, they call it the x-axis, okay? So they call this the x, they call this the y. So on the x, we're going to go, we're going to line up the first little dot or hash mark with the last little dot or hash mark, and we're gonna simply draw a straight line. And then every time we go over one, we're gonna go down one, and then we're gonna draw a straight line. Over one, down one. Over one, down one. And this one is our simple example of a parabolic curve. You can go and do different measurements, and make yours look a little unique, right? So let's just flip it over and I'll keep it simple again. So we're gonna go on the X, this is the Y. So we're gonna go with the innermost on the horizontal, which is the X, to the outermost on the Y. We're gonna line it up. And we're gonna go over one and we're gonna go down one over one, down one, over one, down one. Now we do these two sections and we're gonna have our parabolic curve, okay? So let me scoot this up and we'll do the same right here. Okay, I'm just gonna go reverse though and I don't want you getting confused because it's still the same thing, right? We're still lining lines up. Now there's a video that was on YouTube that I'm gonna go ahead and um, submit so you guys can watch that video as well. Um, whichever video helps you, whether it's my video or whether it is the video that is posted on YouTube, you can watch either one, okay? But please practice this. Um, I left a location to submit your work in and the expectation is that you 
practice until you get it right okay if you get it right the first time then that's the one you turn in if it takes you 10 times then that's the one you turn in but practice until you get it right okay and there's our example of our parabolic curve what you can do after this is you're going to shade like a checkerboard okay so x space x and over here space x space and then x so everywhere I have an X, I'm going to shade. And I'm just going to do a quick little example, and I'll show you my final rendering when I'm done. And then fill up the whole thing. If you want to add some color here, awesome. If you want to add some color in the middle, even more so. Um, and that should do it for this example of a parabolic curve. Have a great day. Good luck, and I'll see you in class. Take care.